maybe until we are waiting for other people you write where are you from from which country uh, which city because this webinar is in english so people registered from everywhere from the world so it's very interesting to know from which country and which city so we have people now in webinar canada wow so i'm in cyprus now kenya nice nairobi kenya great from around the world yeah let's start webinar this webinar is for traders with the goal of increasing their own performance and taking risk management seriously because risk and money management that what we focus on that is the part of the trading uh, we can control and therefore it is uh, most important thing to be successful in trading investors who want to diversify their stock portfolio with commodities options trader who trades uh, or want to be commodities trader professionals who want to generate an additional income and trading newbies so with not much or no trading experience we have also a trading course free trading course for beginners and uh, therefore i think so you will find also some valuable information in this webinar for you webinar is not for you if uh, you already knows everything you are looking for quick success and holy grail in trading so um yeah for people who blame others people and not themselves so and for all troublemakers who would disrupt other people willing to learn so to me this is a, a snapshot of my career so i'm professional commodities trader so i study business economics and on the university in uh, germany in nuremberg so and um, i took a part multiple times three times i took a part in the world cup championship of futures trading and two times i was uh, third place so both time about with a performance uh, above 100 percent so for, for people who don't know um what kind of part, uh, competition this is this competition is uh, holds uh, since i think uh, 38 years something like that so on chicago exchange from robinson uh, robbins and in this part it's um competition um took a part larry williams and uh, achieved their incredible 11,000 percent performance so and uh, yeah it was my dream so um also to take a part there uh, so and uh, to beat uh, larry with his uh, performance it's i i don't uh, believe it's possible <laughs> so but i'm happy with uh, with performance about 100 percent because i focused on solid risk and money management and uh, because for me to um, deliver a stable performance uh, was very important and uh, i did it uh, three times so and last time i got fifth place uh, with a performance uh, something about 78 percent so darko germany close to nuremberg nice the franke <laughs> so um after all our webinar, you will understand which commodities markets uh, we uh, currently find interesting or we are focused on or we are, want to trade, how you as a normal employee or entrepreneur can make profit from commodities trading. That is what I, how I started my career. After I finished my uh, study, so I started to work for a big commodities company. So it was a normal uh, eight or nine to five job. And therefore it was not possible to day trade, uh, but uh, trading was my dream. And uh, I looked for a trading approach that allowed me uh, to trade um, by side of my um work and um so it was possible with a swing trading so based on cut uh data 
So, and uh, yeah, the last uh, point, uh, how you can start with commodities trading in the sure way or right way. So, um, first of all, I want to speak about why a lot of people lose money. So, um, this is very important point because um, we I see it every day because I speak to other people. I see a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of, um, life is um, um of other traders who are long on the market and then um who are not so long on the market so i uh, because i'm now in cyprus and cyprus is a heaven for traders because um, you have here zero um tax uh, for uh, for dividends so dividends uh, are tax free here this is a legal way how to how don't pay uh, tax for your di dividends and uh, I meet here a uh, lot of investors and traders and speak to people and uh, mostly I see the same pattern if they people are not successful with trading or stock market no matter so no right strategy so no strategy wrong products for example they don't trade a regulated product like options like stocks or like futures they trade some crap so um, they trade also forex and maybe also not uh, solid or not serious brokers so and uh, so cfds also very expensive uh, financial product so the trade also some in germany you have some bank products uh, so like um, certificates so the trade that also very uh, in transparent product with high cost uh, so uh, trading cost and um, this is a first mistake and the second one is not the right strategy so then the most common uh, mistake is uh, no risk uh, no risk money management so and this is a big problem and uh, yeah of course if they have both of uh, strategy and risk and money management and they are no patient so they uh, can't be successful because uh, you have to be consistent so how um how is my is um how works my approach so um i learned the trading based on cut data of uh, by Re larry williams so this is uh, his his uh, cut strategy i read his book and uh, read all his um articles and uh, um uh, i uh, no, may, maybe 100 webinars I watched. So and um, so I like his approach um, based on CUT data. It was my start. I was successful with that. But then I realized um, that weather has an impact on certain commodities like uh, coffee, like uh, grains. So and therefore um, it was maybe you know from your farmer neighbors if you are if you. Uh, neighbor is farmer farmer speak about the weather so now it's not right weather for my um for my corn or it's too hot or it's too cold or it's too rainy so and therefore um maybe you know that from uh, from your daily life that um, uh, farmer complain about the weather all the time and so I started to analyze the weather and to include the weather um, and combine um, to my fundamental analysis and combine weather analysis uh, with CUT data. So it uh, had it's imp it's improved uh, the um, uh, the prediction of the trend or it improved the heat rate of. Uh, right market right right trendy market so and therefore my steps um, are three steps i analyze weather then i check cut data so i want to see a reaction of big um big mark as a big market participant so a big player in the market reaction uh, of this weather um, news or weather uh, situation and this is my confirmation that my analysis weather analysis is uh, was correct and if i see if i see here the right combination okay i have confirmation from cut data then i expected a trend in the market 
And to trade a trend, you need a right trading strategy. So we will speak about my trading strategy also. So um, we see here um, a curve of demand and supply. And if we have some special weather situation like tornado, uh, like drought, like flooding, so then we have impact usually on supply curve. So because uh, um, um, because so for example, if we have a cornfield and we have uh, drought, so then uh, we can say okay, maybe we don't we will not have um, so much um, so much uh, corn, and therefore the supply um, decrease. And if supply decrease, this curve, so move to the um, left side and the price increase. If we have very good uh, weather, so very, very perfect weather for corn and the corn um, amount is increased. So we have a big supply of corn, so big amount supply of corn. So the supply curve um move to the right side and you see with the m this is uh, amount so and then the price fall down so if we use the weather data so we can predict the um, price movement of a certain commodities market and therefore i used it um, i used it for trend prediction so the second step is to analyze the CUT data. So most of, yeah, most of participants in this webinar knows what CUT data are. You know that CUT data are published from CFTC. So this is a um, government, uh, this government um, department. So and they prepare and post this data on Friday evening. So, and uh, they post the data in a format, uh, as you can see here at this uh, chat, uh, at this um, paper, it's not uh, usable. It's very difficult to read these numbers, lot of numbers, and uh, you can't understand the relationship between the number and also relative movement, uh, what you need to understand what the big players do on the market. And therefore, we prepare the data in the form what we like in a chart. So we, um, you see, the first chart is the weekly chart of uh, of some market, some commodities market, and the second chart is, for example, COT index. So we use COT index to generate sales or buy signals. We combine this information with buy and sell zone. Um, with uh, seasonal trend, for example, with weekly trend of the price chart. And so we uh, um, create sales or buy signals on the weekly chart. This is our first step. And uh, as you can see, um, this index deliver very stable signals uh, when the market uh, churn his trend from downtrend to the uptrend and, and um, from the uptrend to the downtrend. So, and if we analyze weather, for example, and we have some bullish um, situation in, in the market, so we know that uh, the amount of corn will be uh, small, at, and we learned before that, um, in this case, the price increase, and we see that COT data so or CUT index here in the buy zone. So then we have a confirmation from big player of the market that we are right with our analysis. So and then we can expect the trend in the market. And here again, this is a weekly chart. It means usually we have a movement about three, four, five weeks. And then we have on the daily chart a lot of opportunities to make long trades and to make profit. So um, yeah, and, and this uh, this is what I already um, explained. So and then if you um, did this work, just did these two steps, and uh, you find the market where you expected uh, a 
trend. So then you um, you put all the market on your watch list. That what I do um, every Sunday. So I put all the market where I expect a trend on the watch list, and then I need a strategy to trade this trend. So and. Uh, I have a strategy, I call this strategy COT strategy, and this strategy COT because COT data. And we have, uh, I trade now um, three different strategy, but they have same approach. So first strategy, COT strategy, is a swing trading, trading strategy. Um, I trade, um, so I hold the position usually three until five days. Uh, with this strategy. The second one is COT2 strategy. With this strategy is more aggressive. I have more entry patterns there and uh, the risk and money management is more aggressive. So, and I have one strategy. This is very, um, this is a strategy where I combine um, weather and COT. Also weather, I, com I use the weather for the right timing to uh, determine, uh, to find the right timing. So I call this strategy weather strategy. So, but it's the same approach in uh, all these three strategies. So um, first of all, fundamental analysis, I explained it before. So weather uh, analysis, CUT data analysis. So it uh, worked, uh, for example, CUT data approach uh, worked already, um, by Larry Williams for 50 years. So, and now I use this approach uh, since nine years. It uh, works successful also in my trading. So it, this is a very, very, very um, stable trading approach. So after we did our fundamental work and put the market on the watch list where we expected uh, upward or downward trend, and um, second step is to find the right timing when to go into the market. So when open a position, we can't open immediately a position after we did the fundamental research because COT data or weather analysis, um, that are fundamental data. It means their market should go in certain direction, but it uh, doesn't must go in this direction immediately. So and therefore, we need to find the right market because we can't, after fun fundamental analysis, we can't open position immediately. So we will lose too much money because most of the time we have here a trend in other direction. So as we got a signal. So timing, um, what is the right timing if you trade based on CUT data? As I told before, usually if you um, find um, signals, based on CUT data, you have mostly 90, 95% of the time, you have a trend in the, um, on the daily chart in the wrong direction. And you have to wait until the trend change. This is a very valuable information, what I said now. You have to wait until the trend change on the daily chart. If you try to catch the button, so you will lose money because the probability that the trend on daily and chart will continue is very high. And uh, therefore, to try to catch button of the market, this is a game is good for ego. If you <laughs> hit one times button, you can say, okay, I'm proud for that, but it's not good for your trading account. Best way is to wait until the trend change to the direction in the same direction as you got a signal. So, and then in the new daily trend to find, to find an entry pattern to go into the market. So this is very important. Therefore, we wait until we got a trend change on the daily chart and first, uh, first uh, and until, uh, and after the daily trend, after the trend change, so we start looking for an entry pattern. So risk and money management. So after we found um, right timing, so we decided to go into the market. So we have to um, find, so we have to think about the risk, how, 
how much we want to risk on this trade. Usually we risk only 2% of our account. So, and um, the next step, you have to uh, find the right price target. So, and um, so now my, my children try to, <laughs> to broke the door. So, um, and uh, yeah, so the price, uh, price target, so you have to know uh, when to go out of the market, but this is not sure thing. So you can find the price target on the beginning, but every day you, with every new day, you got a new information. And very often we decided to go out of the market if we miss some movement in the market. So if we see that the market goes sideways, so we see, okay, there is no, um, that is a sign for no right timing and we have to go out of the market because now it's not clear in which direction um, the market will go. So portfolio management, what it means, so it's very important um, to um, take care about the um, bulk, um, I think it's correct uh, word in English, bulk risk, risk, so I can explain it. For example, you have in you have different futures market. So in one sector, for example, energies, you have gasoline, you have crude oil, and you have heating oil. So and uh, usually um, the uh, markets they they are very high correlated. So if one market goes up, the other two markets goes up as well. So and uh, usually also you get um, signals in all these three markets. And if you risk, for example, 2% per market and you open all these three markets, so you build this um, um, this um, um, bulk uh, risk. I hope the name is right, but uh, what I mean, you build uh, more risk than uh, you wanted because you wanted to risk only 2% of uh, a trading idea, but now you have 6% because all three markets are high correlated and therefore you build a risk above you, um, above you um, line of 2%. It's very important to see that your portfolio, the position in your portfolio are um, diversified and not correlated with each other. With this strategy, um, it was possible to uh, grow up from thirteen thousand of dollars at the beginning of 2014. Started in 2014. After eight years, so I reached a size of account of one million. This is a um, this was a magic number, one million dollars. So if the people dream about and to become rich, they think about one million dollars. So, and uh, therefore, it was very important psychological level. Um, so to reach this amount of the money, and um, yeah, it was um, um, it was a um, big victory for me. <laughs> uh, and um, I spent eight years my of my life so to uh, go to this uh, level, and. Um, I did trading every day and I reinvest all my uh, profits. So, and um, yeah, it was a nice journey. So, but you can see here what is possible if you trade uh, this trading approach. And uh, as I said before, I decided to learn from Larry Williams, his trading approach, because I saw some proofs of his um, success. And uh, therefore it was very important for me to learn from somebody who has not only the proofs um, and the second step who are uh, who also share his experience with other people this is also um, the second important point because you you can meet a genius in trading but if he's not willing to share his knowledge with you so it's um, you can't pro you can't profit from that so, but uh, he did it and therefore I decided to learn from him.
So very important also because we um, mostly um, we are um, in cash. So this is um, the opposite of uh, buy and hold strategy. I'm um, I like buy and hold. So and uh, you can use the same account um, if you have a margin account. You can use the same account to um, to do both. So investing and trading. And um, for example, if we trade um, futures, so if we have full good diversified portfolio with usually with four uh, futures position so our margin is about 30 percent of a of account so it means you have uh, 70 percent of your account uh, of the money what you uh, which you uh, what you don't use so and you can use this money for buy and hold investing and or investing in dividend dividends tax and so on it's up to you but uh, very important what what i want to say is uh, that in corona crash for example because we are in cash so we don't we are not in the market so it, therefore a crash like corona um uh, didn't hit us so and also ukraine war in the beginning of the year we know until now the market is 25 percent down so and uh, uh my account is uh, in this year 20 percent up so and therefore it could you you can use commodities trading to diversify your portfolio for example if you uh, not only invested in stocks you are also active commodities trader so you can generate extra profit so and it can stabilize it's make you a portfolio more stable <laughs> so now i find the right word so let's speak about the trading opportunities in september and uh, here we go so yeah um i did some um i did uh, uh, or i asked in the telegram channel uh, people so which market uh, on which market i have to focus on in the second part of my presentation so now we are on the second part so and uh, the people vote for um, gold market and this is um, yeah in fact very interesting markets because um i did some video in german about the gold market i think one week ago or one and a half week ago why i expected that the gold market will continue to fall down so and after i post this video so the um, gold market increase a lot <laughs> so he has a, a correction to the upside so opposite to that of what i taught in the video but it's also not correct what i say because um, i thought about the weekly trend so and uh, about um uh, bigger range uh, time uh, time frame as only one week or two weeks and as you can see here we have a weekly chart of gold so and um, on the weekly chart uh, you see we are in the downward trend so it is a clear downward trend we have uh, we have uh, highs and lows uh, um, lower highs and lower lows so and therefore we are in the up downward trend we got some buy signal so we see that commercials are um netto um uh, netto position is very high but we are not on the zero line and if you checked in the past the data you will find that if we are come to the zero line the market turns to the upside so now we are not on the zero line therefore i expected that um, yeah until the end of the year until the um, seasonal trend increase we will see uh, lower prices in the um, in gold so because um, yeah in case of uh, commercials um, net position we have space to the zero line so it means the market can go down so can continue go down until we go to the zero line and in the past if you check the data in the past after that the markets turn to the upside so if you check the seasonal trend also you can see 
we have two seasonal trends uh, per year in gold market. The first one is in June, uh, sorry, uh, end of June, July, and uh, uh, in August. So, and the second one is uh, from middle of December and uh, until February. You can see it's very clear in the last sub chart. So um, there's a seasonal trend and you see very strong and very stable seasonal trends in this period of time. And uh, if you check, for example, seasonal trend in August, so uh, let's do it. So, okay, not the right chart. So yeah, here, um, if, so we have here also seasonal trend, and this is the seasonal trend what I uh, talked about. So this is the seasonal trend end of July and uh, in August, so until September. And if you check the price, this year the price started to follow the seasonal trend, but middle of the way, um, the um, trend turns down. So, and um, didn't continue until uh, to uh, increase the price didn't increase until the september what um, yeah the price usually do in this period of time of the year so and now we hit the button of the seasonal trend here mm, i would say yeah uh, perfect and exactly so and now we have also some strongness in the seasonal trend and the market could increase a little bit. And then we have a weakness until middle of December. So what I expected, I expected that I will see, um, we can see some, uh, so if the price follow the seasonal trend, so we can expect some uh, strongness. So in the market and then, so, we can uh, we see that uh, usually or that that the seasonal trend is very weak for the next time so the price will uh, go down again so and therefore uh, yeah i expected that the trend downward trend will continue so if you um compare the correlated markets like uh, gold and silver so you will find that we have in silver also um buy signal but we have on the weekly chart some trend change so and uh, we have also weak seasonal trend until um, middle of december december and um but um as you can see at um on daily chart so we have already trend change so we have trend trend is changed we have higher highs and we have higher lows so, and we expected that um, the course, we, uh, the price will go to the upside. So why that? Because we uh, have here, also in silver, we have here some strong seasonal trend. So, and until the end of the, this month, and therefore I expect that the price will follow the seasonal trend and we will see higher prices, but only short term. So uh, from the end of the month, so we see here very strong weakness in the seasonal trend and we can expect that the price, yeah, will go down. So um, let's check the gold. So yeah, gold, I, mm, the same, same picture in gold and um, Therefore, um, therefore, so I finished, yeah, I finished my analysis with the gold. Okay. So if you have some questions to the gold, so um, you can ask me, uh, but we have here some, um, we have some, um, some um, resistance here. It's correct, resistance. I forgot this word in English, but we have some uh, some line here. If this line holds, so we saw that we have some um, strongness and the seasonal trend, and I expected that the price will go a little bit, bit up, and then until middle of December, the trend to the downside will continue. 
So that's when I say I expected it's not my meaning, so that's what I see in the data. So I analyzed uh, uh, CUT data. So we have no uh, bullish pattern now, uh, no strong bullish pattern now, as we have if the net position on the zero line. And I analyzed the seasonal trend, seasonal trend and um, above uh, very um, big data and also on the daily chart, I analyze seasonal trend uh, from the last 10 years. So, so uh, we have time and I would like to speak about other markets, um, especially S&P 500, what I expected in S&P 500. I think this is a um, mainstream market and therefore it's, uh, yeah, maybe makes sense a little bit to speak about um s p 500 so we are in the downward trend i think it's clear here on the chart on the weekly chart you can see that so the price tried to stable uh, to stay uh, stable here on the current price but as you can see on the daily chart uh, what i expected we have here trend line and we saw in the past if they if the price broke this trend line we have some up move, so strong up move. So and uh, um, then and the market goes down again. And now we have again this trend line, and uh, um, we expected an up move. So again, and why that? So look at this chart. We have here seasonal trend, and look how similar the price goes with the seasonal trend seasonal trend bottom price bottom seasonal trend up price up seasonal trend goes down price goes down seasonal trend um, find button here the price did it too so and now for the next time and from now to the next uh, yeah next month so uh, we see some strong seasonal pattern some strong seasonal um part of the year and therefore i expected that the price will follow the seasonal trend and we will see some movement like like we saw here in this uh, part of the year and um, yeah therefore i expected that we will see some strongness in the um, s p 500 market but not for long term it's only for short term and it's very it's a little bit difficult to trade uh, against the weekly trend so i don't like that so you can do that if you are more professional but uh, most mostly it's easy job to uh, trade in uh, trend direction so for example um yeah last uh, many years <laughs> we had only uptrend in the stock market and it was easy game to uh, trade in trend direction um so and uh, don't do short trades so and uh, now it's not clear in which direction to trade we have downward trend on the weekly chart on the daily chart we expected some up move so and therefore yeah it's a little bit tricky to trade uh, markets like this i think we can find some commodities market markets uh, where we have more data from weather analysis from cut data and uh, we uh, uh, with uh, in in direction of weekly trend and more stable trends and therefore i think there are um yeah better markets um uh, outside so crude oil so yeah crude oil it's uh, a market with uh, big political um impact so and you don't know what the but the political what they what they do and their hidden room so they meet each other so they um arrange something and uh, you don't know about that and then they come out of the room and uh, yeah you see that in the news so and the price goes down and goes up i don't like a situation like this but um crude oil is uh, market like this and therefore it's um, yeah it's not so easy to trade uh, this market for me um but 
you can use COT data and you can use seasonal trends also to make some predictions. And you have other interesting markets like um, heating oil and uh, gasoline. And if you trade, for example, crude oil, so you have to um, check also uh, other markets, heating oil and gasoline and compare those market with each other because you will find some weakness or some strongness in uh, one of these three markets and it is usually it's better choice uh, to trade um, to make a long trade in the strongest market and to uh, to make a short trade in the weakest market so what we have here now this is very tricky situation now because uh, we have here um, some indicator so it's based uh, it's included also open interest it's uh, in the name of this indicator POFV so um, uh, i believe the larry williams explained this indicator in some article in traders magazine so and i use this indicator um, for the real or fear fair price so um, if I see some divergence between this indicator and the price, so I um, so I believe that the indicator shows me the real price and uh, the course now it's maybe um, not the real price and I can expect it that the price will follow this indicator. So this is what I expected and um, as you can see we have here a indi strong indicator above the previous highs and uh, um, therefore I can expect that the price will go to the upside because we uh, we are already above these highs here so I, I hope uh, you can see my okay I can do that here yeah we are above these highs here so these highs so and uh, now we have um, you can say so the trend changed now so and then we um, have to wait until we have um, movement like this so if the price goes up so some correction goes up again so then we can say okay we have trend change on the daily chart and that what i said before so you have to wait until you have trend change because if you got some uh, buy signal based on cut data here and you try go into the market because you think okay this is the button of the market so you will be stop out here 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 and uh, if you wait until the uh, trend change on daily chart so you can trade in direction of new daily trend and usually this is a um, better game okay um so i change the color this yeah so the second uh, data what we can check is the spread between uh two liquid contracts so and if we don't see some divergence uh, between the spread and the uh, course so we can say okay now it's the picture is normal sometimes the spread still uh, still to the upside so and uh, the price goes down and we have a bullish divergence here um, then we can say okay um, the price will goes up this is a good technique for to find um to find uh, to decide uh, to go into the market by a correction or not so if we have a correction in the market but the spread still strong so we can say okay the price usually follow the spread and this correction pattern will be successful this correction or uh, this entry uh, by correction will be successful so and now that's what um, why I'm not happy about <laughs> um, uh, I'm not happy about the seasonal trend because you see here very uh, strong seasonal trend for the next time and therefore um, so I drove here some 
uh, lines so if we stay here under these highs so yeah we can expect that the price will follow the uh, seasonal trend so and we will see some lower prices so but again this is a um, political market so if they decided to uh, um to cut to cut the amount of um, amount of oil so then quickly we will see higher prices so this is a um, little bit tricky but so we analyze here data and not the um, political situation and so and uh, in terms of data we have here now a tricky situation so if it goes above this high so we can see okay the price now is stronger than seasonal trend and usually this is a good sign for strong market for strong uptrend but what i can see in the past so the price for the seasonal trend very stable and therefore yeah we will see but um, probably the price will go down again so um yeah i post if you are not member of telegram group so i post uh, also my trading in front before i open a position i post all my trading plans in the telegram channel so you can easily scan with uh, or you can easily open the camera the photo camera on on your iphone or on your yeah phone and um yeah um scan with your camera scan this QR code so and uh, so you will find uh, our telegram channel in this easy way or you use this link here second so this link to, to find us in telegram channel so one second so you can see that this is also very easy and um, there you can watch uh, me over the shoulder how i trade on daily basis because i um, post every day uh, from sunday until uh, thursday every day um, i trade my trading plan for next day what i want to do on my trading account for two strategies cut one strategy and weather strategy so if you want to collect uh, some trading experience based on cut data so please please watch uh, yeah please use this opportunity yeah but um risk disclosure very important uh, so uh, futures trading can is high risky uh, product and therefore be careful okay so i would like to start sharing my screen one second So you should see my trade navigator. Okay. So and um, and no, I stop sharing. Okay. So I would like to share my whole screen so I can see better what what happened on my trade navigator. So I hope you can see my trade navigator. Please uh, write yes in the chat window if you see my trade navigator. So because I want to show you some market from the watch list. So I have no reaction, no. Okay so this is uh, entire screen yeah now now it should work it should works so okay so here is my trade navigator so i check again um could you see my trade navigator yes okay nice so and um we have some markets on the watch list so and um 
Yeah, um, I would like to speak about some of this market. For example, we have um, Platinum uh, on our watch list. And as you can see, Platinum has a trend change on the daily chart. So we did our fundamental analysis. So we have here buy signal, for example, in Platinum. So and we took out this high. And now we are in the upward trend. So and we have the first correction and what we want to see we want to see some uh, some movement to the upside so in direction of a new trend and then i want to plan my entry here but as you can see it's like a uh, logo of insider week logo of insider week is like this that is um, it means uh, it, it's uh, like our strategy so um goes up correction goes up So, and uh, yeah, that's what we also expected here. Okay, um, so I check um, the comments. We cannot see anything, blank window, okay. So, okay. I try it again. So maybe now, but um, the window is very small, so so I can't um, so I can't write there. Okay, so I try to do it. No, it's not possible. Okay, this is now. It's very difficult for. Uh, okay, uh, maybe yeah okay i know how to do that i tried yeah i tried doing this way okay let's do it in this way so i have also a chat window mm. i see the chat window so i can react if um, if uh, yeah if there's some trouble so platinum we have here movement to the upside correction and uh, we took out this high and so from this point we have an upward trend so and then the first uh, correction it's that what we want to see so now we uh, wait until one day in the direction of the new daily trend and after that we want to go into the market so next market um, so with we did trade yesterday we got some nice entry we realized the half of the profit here so it's about here about the closing so today we have some correction but this is an inside bar so we have our stop here under this bar so and therefore we uh, yeah we expected that the price will goes up so um interesting market is mexican peso so mexican peso um look what i expected here because so we have we have a buy signal in mexican peso and the next step is to wait until we have some trend change so let's refresh the data let's see so i believe we took out this high no <laughs> okay so okay so we have wait until we to take out this high so and then the same game so we can do that here so let's see i'm curious about because i checked before and uh, so maybe my data is too delayed uh, so but if we have uh, if we took out the sky and we have two bars above 80 moving average so we have also an entry pattern and can open here in a position so this is very interesting market because in the sugar we saw some range market so and the price goes out of the range last week 
and now we expected some correction and you can check the correction based on indicator like percent r indicator so and uh, if you if we have indicator in the buy zone so we have a correction what uh, what we need so but now we see today we see a strong day and that's what i don't want to see i i want to see a correction um, but not big so one two three days so and then i can open here and trade um because now you can see we are in the upward trend on daily chart so um so here we did some trade but we um wasn't uh, we lost very small money here but uh, the the movement uh, the trade continued to the downside and now we are in the movement so we can't open position if the movement uh, are already there so we have to wait until we have some correction here into the market so then we can open the position in the downward in direction of downward trend so silver so in silver we want to see strong day uh, so strong day next day strong day and then we will uh, plan our entry and so if we have entered in this market so i will post it in the telegram channel so in front before i open this position so you can uh, also verify the results of my plan with the um, results end of the week so and can see so it's correct or not correct it's correct or isn't yeah okay so yeah it was a short uh, view about the um, market what we uh, um, watched on now so and Max, maybe you, maybe you can stay there and answer the question from Peter. Okay. Um, you talk about the trend change um, on the daily chart. It's a question in the Q and A section. And um, how do you guys define the trend? Some sort of moving average, or yeah, yeah. It there's a different um, um, different techniques how to define a trend, and I think this is a very very um, valuable skill to find a trend because uh, if you know um in which trend the market is so you can trade in trend direction or you can change from upside to the downside your position and get rich ri richer and richer so but it's not easy game but um uh, you have to have some techniques so and one of the techniques could be for example moving coverage this is for the people who are not um um so much yeah not i i, I wouldn't say creative but uh, maybe um usually the people who are um, programmer for example and uh, they uh, want to have exactly definition of the trend so and for toys people it makes sense to use exactly definition how to define a trend and this for example, for this uh, kind of people, it's good to use moving average. So, and uh, so I can give you an example. So you can see moving average today, value of moving average is higher than yesterday. So we are in the upward trend. So today value of moving average is lower than yesterday. We are in the downward trend. So, but um, this is an indicator with some delays so, and uh, therefore it's maybe for the people who want to have exactly definition of the trend it could be useful because they can't use an other technique because they need exactly definition um, but um, for example you can uh, use an other technique uh, and this is a um, I don't know what's in English, but a trend technique, for example. So if you have higher highs and lower lows, and also your eyes should be trained to see where is the high, where is the low, is that low or is that not low, is that high or is that not high. It's also not easy game. And therefore you can use an useful indicator. And this indicator, name of this indicator is zigzag so indicators 
zigzag. And this is, um, with this indicator, you have an easy game to, um, so yeah, I put it on <laughs> again. So once again, so, and then go to the chart. So you have to, um, maybe here too, so there's more sense sensitive. So, and uh, for example, you can see here, this line should be getting a little bit white. Weather. So, and uh, as you can see here, for example, we got here some buy signal. So, but now we are in the downward trend. So, and uh, here or here we don't open in position because we are in downward trend. And after we cross here this line, uh, this high, so we are in the upward trend because we have we have higher highs. And uh, after this point, it's uh, clear that we will have here higher high, higher as this high, and the low higher as this low. And now we have a trend. And this is the sweet point. This is uh, inside the week logo. Inside the week logo, if you check inside the week logo, movement, correction, profit. <laughs> so, and um, yeah, this is the easy way how to find a trend change. Okay. So I check also Telegram because in Telegram, we have also stream in Telegram and in Telegram, we have a chat with the questions. And uh, I would like to answer also the questions in this chart. Uh, commercial, not commercial report, which can I follow? Commercials or non-commercials report, which can I, I follow? So uh, I follow on the weekly chart commercials because i believe that commercials this is like farmer like uh, people who use um, who produce uh, products and uh, use the raw material for uh, products producing so they are um they have the first and the best information therefore i follow the commercials it is correct that commercials are buying and open interest is falling, falling, and this is a bullish sign. Does that apply to all futures? So it means, so um, for example, uh, commercials are buying, so it means the net opposition increase. So, but not all the time if commercial are buying, so, and the open interest is falling. So we have, for example, here, so commercials buying and uh, open interest increase. But usually, right, if, for example, we have some, uh, we have some um, bubble pattern, it's a close bubble pattern. For example, commercials increase, and open interest decrease so and usually it's this bubble pattern in combination of the buy zone in commercial index shows you end of the correction looks here yeah so i check other questions so I don't see any, any questions now. Mm -hmm. So did I miss something? No. Okay. Uh, maybe it makes sense um, if somebody are not um, um, in the Telegram channel to post in the. Um, post telegram link to the telegram channel in the chat window so i will do that so yeah 
So if you are not in Telegram channel, you can use this link. So, and I have also good news for you. So I stop screen sharing. So I hope I answered your question. So, and next, back to presentation. So, and good news is you can learn commodities, commodity trading, because I learned it. So, and I'm not the smartest person in the world. So, um, you have to check my, um, uh, yeah, my points in the school. So it was not uh, the best. I was not the best one, but uh, what I have is consistency and uh, also um, really logical choice of what I have to learn. So and or what I have to focus on. In if I focus on some one thing, so I uh, do my job. Uh, so as you can see, I traded futures for nine years. So and. Uh, uh, realized all my dreams uh, with this, um, um, yeah, uh, with this trading. So Fi now I want to um, switch to Philip. Philip is uh, uh, was uh, in my coaching. So and uh, Philip um, this year I got uh, fifth place in the uh, Global Cup Trading Championship. So with a performance of 64%. So he, is, he was the best of the class. So And therefore, he got also a coach in by Insider Week. And now he coach um, English, um, English uh, traders who want to learn how to trade based on COT data. So on the weekly basis. And uh, I think it's very interesting to, um, to know how um, Philip's journey was to the trading success. So, Philip, welcome. So, I switch to you. Have fun. Yeah, thank you very much, Max. Uh, thank you very much, Max, um, for this uh, little introduction. Um, yeah, let me uh, introduce myself. Uh, and uh, I think um, my way to trading success is uh, like um, a lot of other people um, because, um, yeah, it's not straightforward. Um, and I did a lot of years of uh, training and coaching and I learned different strategies. And um, yeah, it was um, kind of a long experience. Uh, currently, I'm 35 years old. And uh, since last year, we also live in Cyprus. Um, before, um, I was a professional commodities trader and insider week coach. I worked in the automotive industry and uh, yeah, was an engineer there. So quite a normal and standard way. <clears throat> And beside my studies, I um, yeah, did my first trading experiences with a very, very small account. I traded CFDs um, on the German index. Um, but um, yeah, uh, at the end, I didn't had, I made the mistakes Max mentioned. So there was no real strategy. There was no risk money management. Um, so my account went up and down and up and down. And after two years, um, I, I stopped it <clears throat> and decided to focus on my studies. Then I went to the automotive industry, earned money, and then I restarted again with different other tra strategies, trend following strategies on stocks with a larger account, and so on and so on, and uh, learned options trading, also on trend um, following. Um, so, and then I wanted to diversify my portfolio because I was 100% in stocks. And uh, of course, I had different strategies, but even though, um, yeah, my portfolio was not diversified diversified at all um, because everybody knows it if the stock market goes down nearly all stocks go down and um, yeah then I came to a futures trading I did a weekend seminar at another coach um, German coach and this was I was not that successful at the end after this weekend seminar because I couldn't reproduce the things what I've learned at the weekend seminar I was at home without a mentor without anybody and yeah, I couldn't make it because I didn't have the self-confidence to do it. Then in 2020, I met Max and I, yeah, I was uh, excited about the strategy, followed um, the daily trading plans uh, for I think half a year. Then I made it to the coaching. I applied for it and uh, he said, yes, let's do it. And yeah, then half a year later, um, because Max, vision is 
um, that the first three or five places from the World Cup Championship uh, are all coaching participants from Insider Week. I took part at the Future World Cup uh, Championship Global Cup in trading and made it to the fifth place uh, right at the first uh, time. And yeah, this is an incredible result and I'm really proud of it. And yeah, I can only say that I learned so many different things and a whole other way of thinking um, and see how a how, whole other way how I look at the markets. It's um, totally different than I um, yeah, was trading before. All the things with the fundamental analysis, all the strategy, everything. Um, yeah, fundamental new and uh, yeah, it works. It really works and I'm very happy about this trading strategy and yeah. Yeah, um, some, some else, uh, some other things about uh, the coaching program. Um, so why, why is it that successful? I mean, uh, trading is uh, counterintuitive. Everybody knows it because we have to fight the strongest enemy, our emotions. And if we don't have a clear strategy, if we don't have a clear risk and money management, then yeah, at the end, someone it's very difficult to fight our emotions and to be successful in the end. And uh, this is why inside I built this um, coaching program. And this is a uh, Max, since when do you have this coaching program available? Um, so this is not a coaching program, which is available since uh, a year or two. So this is a long-term coaching program since many, many years. Um, since since when are you doing this um, coaching program for one year? Philip, it was a question. Yes. Okay, could you repeat it? Because <laughs> I was uh, not <laughs> in the line. Ah, sorry, uh, since since when is Insider Week doing this one year coaching program? Uh, since uh, three, three and a half years, I think so. Because before uh, I did some face to face coaching. So but uh, so it was not not possible because it uh, took too much time. So and therefore I decided to create this program for 12 months. Why 12 months? Because I um, believe that this is my experience. So your brain needs to build new connections. So for um, uh, to uh, to deal with the trading. So your psychology should um, deal with uh, the trading with emotional pressure with the trades because money it's very yeah um, very sensitive um, sensitive uh, uh, topic for most people so and therefore you need at least 12 months to build new connections in your head to go in routine and to be successful i don't believe that you can learn how to trade in uh, one two three months you can learn a trading strategy but to be successful so you need time to build new uh, connections in your head so and um, therefore you need practice at least uh, nine months and to repeat what you do every evening for at least nine months so then you got your routine you will become confident so you um, and therefore you can also um you can use this strategy you can implement this strategy and you have no problem if you have some losing trade and so you believe in this strategy and you know it works yeah thank you very much um yeah this is why inside we built this long-term coaching program and there is really a lot of things to do uh, it's very intense uh, the first month is every, all the theory um, stuff so you learn everything from the fundamental analysis to the timing, target, historical tests. So you, you do historical tests um, with Trade Navigator. This is the software we are using or Insider is using. And um, yeah, uh, and even more, you have a lot of homeworks to do or like exercises to do to reproduce and to implement all this knowledge and to yeah build it in your brain and uh, that it becomes second nature. Then there is the demo trading where you also internalize everything with um, yeah, demo money or, or a demo account, and uh, you learn how to um, how to how to re write a checklist, how to write your trading journal, and how to be consistent with your trades and your strategy. And in the end, very important, there comes the real money trading, and 
which is also very important and which helped me most is that for COT1 strategy, there are two webinars every week. And this is a live webinar with your coach and you can ask any questions and you go through the strategy overall again and again, you answer, you get the questions answered. Why do we have this and this markets on the watch list? And yeah, this is from my point of view, the most valuable thing that you have an expert at next to you and you can ask your questions always continuously throughout the whole year. So um, yeah, why Insider Week? Um, I mean, uh, this is something what Insider Week stands for. You can see a lot of transparency. Everything is transparent from 2014 on. Um, you can download all the trades Max did in an Excel file on the Insider Week homepage. Go to the track record, um, to the pro account performance. And there at the top right, you'll find the download button where you can download the Excel file. Of course, the Max is a multiple winner of the, or not a yeah, winner, but he took part at the first five of the World Cup Championship. Win, winner will be at this in the future. <laughs> winner will be, yes, the winner will be. <laughs> so um, I have to have goals. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to have goals. So you will you will take part again at the World Cup Ch Trading Championship. So I think next year, yes. But this year, you um, you was uh, um, uh, because I did it three times. So and this year you you did it, and therefore I um, not need to, to to do by myself because you presented Insider Week. So it was very important to show the people that. Not uh, only me can trade based on CUT data, CUT strategy. Also, our um, our students can do that. So they can learn that, they can do that. So it means this is uh, repeatable. It's correct in, uh, in English. So uh, people can repeat this success. So and uh, therefore, it was important that not me uh, got the place uh, fourth time or fifth time. Uh, so um the plan was that one of uh, the students and uh, i'm happy philip that uh, you got the fifth place yeah should got in the top five of, of the world trader best world world best trader so and um yeah uh, this was a uh, very big su success for insider week not only for you <laughs> thank you Um, yes, um, so yeah, um, I think uh, now you should you can continue, Max, or should I continue? Yeah, uh, the only this is now is call to action for everybody who want to start with um, um, with learning of commodities trading based on CUT data. This is a call to action to um, to do the first step and to. Uh, to get in contact so with us or with my team so and uh, got first um, so information or consulting about what what we offer what we have we have uh, we have basic course for free and we have a big pro program about two years so we have every we have a good um, good offer for everybody and therefore the first step is to register for this uh, information session uh, you can register for 30 minutes uh, individual analysis session so my team will understand um, where are you standing now so what is your level so and we will show you what is the next step so i think this is for free i think this is well valuable uh, for you so and uh, what you have to do is to put your data there contact data so your phone number and your email address and my team will contact you and uh, we'll find for you the next right step uh, to the trading success. Another great presentation and thing being, okay, um, member of Insider Week. So now we have some feedback in the chat. So if you want to ask us uh, something, so now uh, please write your question in the chat. So now I would like, or oh, Philip, you can ask also Philip uh, um, something if you want. So if you, yeah, that's now it's the right time to do that. Of course, you can write also um, an email after this webinar, but uh, we are now here and so we can answer your question. But I see 
also some uh, thank you guys for your beautiful presentation i am still learner yeah you will find on our website a lot of stuff uh, and uh, so please use this um, opportunity so uh, we have articles we have basic courses we have videos so um, we are the right ad address for you if you uh, still um, uh, learning uh, trading based on CUT data another great presentation max and i think being a member of insider week and seeing your weekly videos is extremely helpful so it uh, makes me happy so if i uh, read this so also uh, it make us happy because uh, um, philip helped me um, on sunday and he record a trading plan because i can do that on the one day because i recorded trading plan a video very long video about 30 minutes for joman um German followers so trading results trading plan so i have to do the trading plan i have to record a video so and uh, i can do that uh, in the same day and therefore philip helped me uh, he uh, records the trading plan for english uh, um, english um, traders so and then on monday i record a video um about the trading results from the last week so therefore if we uh, uh, see that uh, the positive feedback so that what we do is helpful for people so it make uh, us both happy <laughs> so thank you very much for your feedback ronald so okay i don't see new questions which uh, which twitter to follow that uh, has fastest was the report display every month in table format when it's published so i don't know francis um i have to ask my um team because we have um uh, analytics team there are three people so and um usually we read the was the report by ourselves so we don't read um some twitter so we analyzed uh, was the report by uh, so my team analyzed my analytics team analyzed was the report after it uh, published so and uh, then uh, we write in our telegram channel the results but we are not interesting in and uh, intraday trading uh, or trading in short movements or short time frame and therefore um it's okay if we uh, got the information one day later for us it's not so critical um so if uh, for you it's very important to get the fastest information so i don't know in which twitter account you will find that sorry okay uh, so let's check thank you yeah you're welcome thank you guys for i'm still there. okay so that is uh, that's it yeah that's it so uh, thank you very much for your time so you um took a uh, time about um, i think uh, 90 minutes so to spend this time with us so we are very appreciate so and thank you for that so i hope um yeah i gave you um and philip philip and me give you all the valuable information what you need for the next step to your trading success and uh, I would like to see you again in one month because we hold this webinar every month, um, every uh, second uh, Tuesday, so in the month. So, and uh, you are welcome. And uh, I would like to see you again next month. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You make a great, uh, very rich person like me from Kenya. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Francis uh, um, wrote the last question. Could you include navigator trend when you do your weekly plan? Thank you. Um, navigator trend. Um, what is navigator trend? Na navigator trend. Could you include your navigator trend? So I have to check what uh, navigator trend is, but uh, we will check it. So, and uh, maybe he means. Trade navigator trend, the zigzag curve, what you presented, or, oh, or maybe, or maybe our view about the trend yeah. where it is. 
Francis, uh, you can write it also in Telegram channel because uh, you can reach us in Telegram channel also uh, every day. Um, under each post, you are able to write a comment. So you can write there because we post this um, um, weekly trading plan. We post in the Telegram channel. So you can write your um, suggestions in the Telegram channel. So and uh, yeah, we will um, see how we can implement this information this report so thank you very much so now um yeah now time to go uh, to go to children so um thank you again for your participant uh, participation and see you next month or i see you in the next trading plan or trading results or in telegram group bye bye